Hi guys, welcome back to The Social Tune, and today I'm taking a look at the new album by Brother Ali, All the Beauty in This Whole Life. Put pen to paper the first time when I was barely eight or maybe nine That was the late 80s Reagan time Put in the freshest tape rewinds Wait, let me take my time The entire landscape of that blank page was mine When you're talking about 2012, what great music do you think of? Some may think of Kesha's Warrior or Frank Ocean's Channel Orange, both for damn good reasons. But more specifically, what about hip-hop in 2012? Because while Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City may stand head and shoulders above everything else released in 2012, let's not forget my second favorite hip-hop album released that year, namely Morning in America and Dreaming in Color. That was my first exposure to the legendary MC Brother Ali, easily one of the most compelling rappers that I have ever come across. Which begs the question, why haven't I talked about him before? Well, part of it is that this is his first album released in five years, but the other reason is that, well, he's not really a rapper that I can compare to many others. He's definitely conscious, but his point of view is so damn unique. For one, he was born with albinism, meaning he displays no form of pigment. This condition has also affected his sight, making him legally blind, although he has admitted to being able to see a little. On top of that, his dad committed suicide when he was younger, and he claims that the reason that he's always been drawn to the black community and the black culture is that he knows all too well what it feels like to be ostracized for the color of your skin. So when I heard that this album would have him turning inward once more to reflect on his own life, you'd better believe that I got excited. Sure, it probably wouldn't pack the hardest punch compared to his last album or Shadows on the Sun, but Brother Ali is still easily one of the most compelling and interesting artists that I love to listen to. And surprise, surprise, the album is excellent. Not quite the classic that his previous album was, but again, that's not what he's trying to go for here. It's a completely different and much more personal beast, and by those standards, it definitely strikes gold. And so, let's start things off with the production. You're not using your heart for what hearts are for. They've been trying to shut us down our whole life. I thank God for healing. You ain't got to get me lit. I my own life. Thank God for listening. Listen, you've been trying to build me up my whole life. Now one of the criticisms that I've seen floating around for this album is that it can occasionally feel a little too bright and too happy. And look, I do understand where people are coming from, as songs like Can't Take That Away can almost feel a little corny with how elated and blissful they are. Even though I'd argue that that elated feeling is really refreshing coming from Brother Ali, it's great to hear him sound so happy. But make no mistake, a lot of these beats are still aggressive as hell. Like take the stalking pianos and the horns on pen to paper, the album opener that goes hard as hell, and serves as a friendly reminder just why Brother Ali has been so missed these past five years. It's an awesome intro. Or take the guitar and bass on Uncle Uzi Taught Me and Own Light, parentheses, what harps are for, both with unforgettable hooks and killer bass lines. Then you have the bass and multiple horns on special effects, the synths, drums, pianos, and the stalking bass on Tremble. And probably most awesome of all, the fucking harmonica on the Bitten Apple. Seriously, how many rappers would incorporate one of those into their beats? But that song brings us to the more mournful tracks here, which in turn brings us to the utterly heartbreaking Dear Black song which starts out with just a mournful piano loop with occasional flourishes. But even when the drum and bass come in, it doesn't take away from the raw feeling of the song. It really is a gut-wrenching track. And then you have the tight looping piano riff and the backing vocals on Pray For Me, the escalating piano lines and the guitar plucks on Out Of Here, and of course, the somber title track that closes off the album on a real high note. If I'm being completely honest though, I will say that the album does run a little long at 15 tracks, which would be fine, but the issue is that certain songs here feel like they could have been cut. While I really did love Sa Rock's verse, I wasn't a huge fan of We Got This. 
which is a really nice piano driven track but right after Dear Black Sun I'm sorry it just doesn't carry the same punch especially considering it's immediately followed by Uncle Uzi Taught Me. And while It Ain't Easy is a fine song, it's basically just rehashing Can't Take That Away, except not quite as happy sounding, which some people may be a fan of, but I personally didn't care for that much. Also, I guess that some people could make the argument that a lot of these instrumentals do sound similar, but I personally didn't mind. The hooks really are strong enough that each song stands out on its own. And either way, let's be honest, you don't come to Brother Ali for his production, you come for him. Uncle Uzi taught me, you can't teach what you don't know, you can't lead where you don't go. Can't read what you don't so can't fool the people no more. You know me, I'm a globe traveler, soul ambassador, reporting live from the worldwide massacre. Damn, I've missed this guy's voice. He's such an expressive performer, and he always brings a ton of natural conviction to his words, which as you should all know by now, is a huge plus in my books. And this may be an odd thing to focus on, but one of the reviews that I read for his last album commented that his breath control is perfect. As all his words come straight from the belly, and you know what, they're absolutely right, his diction is perfect, and I never have to struggle in order to understand what he's saying. While I may love it when a rapper like Kendrick, or especially Aesop Rock, goes down the lyrical rabbit hole, I'll admit that it's refreshing to hear someone who's straightforward and upfront with the point they're trying to make. I will say though, I'm not so sure about his decision to sing, as it really does deliver mixed results. I mean, on the one hand you have Pray For Me, the title track, and Never Learn, which all sound pretty good. But on the other hand, you have We Got This and It Ain't Easy, where there's no way around it, he just sounds tone deaf. The guests on this album all do great though. Sour Rock is by far the best part of We Got This, as she goes over all the things that she's sacrificed for her art, including her relationship with her father, and Idris Phillips and Dem Atlas both do great on the choruses of their respective songs. They're two of the best tracks here. And despite all of my minor nitpicks, the lyrics really do make up for a lot. I want to stress this, Brother Ali isn't just a rapper, he's a poet. Seriously, this guy really does have a way with words. The bars that he puts together never feel too full or too sparse. And he does it all without swearing. This is rap music that your parents or your kids could listen to. And I say could because his content on his albums is a little divisive. He is a conscious rapper after all. But like I said, on this album the content is so personal that it's really kind of hard to critique it. The entire album contains vocal snippets from Amir Suleiman, one of Brother Ali's fellow poets, who seems to ground this album in its wider context. Because while the topics that Brother Ali dives into here reflect his own life and his own struggles, a lot of these situations have universal resonance, particularly within the black community. Sure, on songs like Own Light and Before They Called You White, he does dive into themes of racism and supremacy. But on the other hand, take Dear Black Son, the song dedicated to his young biracial son, who will be judged for his entire life based solely on his skin color, something that Brother Ali feels terrified and regretful and helpless over. After all, on Pray For Me, he proves that he knows exactly what it's like to be judged solely on your appearance, as he lays out how he was bullied back in school because of his albinism, something that his own mother was also helpless to stop, despite her best efforts. Hell, at least Brother Ali has his wife for support, which he's clearly grateful for on songs like Can't Take That Away and Special Effects, while Ali's own dad and grandfather both took their own lives, which he sketches out vividly on the heartbreaking song Out of Here. And then you get Before They Called You White, where Ali sketches out just how ridiculous the notion of racism is having been crafted originally to keep people in check and to keep them from noticing who the real enemy is. And on the final track, he turns to his ultimate muse, 
God or Allah. And while some may critique him for ending on this religious note, the entire point of the song is that despite everything that's wrong with the world, there's still beauty to be found. That's why you have some of his most upbeat songs to date here, to illustrate that point. Hell, as he says, the times when we appreciate beauty the most is during our times of suffering, when tears fill our eyes. And if even he, a man who's mostly blind and got bullied and ostracized throughout most of his life, even to this day, can still see the beauty of the world shining through, then many of us should be able to see it too. None of us have an excuse. So yeah, in terms of Brother Ali albums, I can see why some people were slightly underwhelmed by it, but damn did I love it. It has some issues, and it's nowhere near as ambitious as his last album, but it's still an absolutely fantastic, heartfelt hip-hop album that you should all be hearing yesterday, getting a strong 8 out of 10 from me. If you're not listening to Brother Ali, fix that, and this album is the perfect way to do so. So thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed. If there are any other albums coming out in the next month or so, please post them in the comments or tweet them at me at the social tune, link in the description. Please subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and until the next time, I'm Finn, and this is the social tune, signing off.